Avinash and I am here to deal with advanced control systems. So in advanced control systems for this semester you have unit 1 state space analysis. So in this uh, class, we will be discussing why there is need, need for state space. So why there is a need for state space and uh, advantages of state space. So in general, what is the job of a control engineer is to design the model okay when testing if the model is unstable he need to keep the controller so for uh, testing for stability in your previous semesters you already learn about uh, route harvich criteria and uh, root locus technique Bode plot and uh, Nyquist criteria and Nicholas chart so by using all these uh, five techniques you have my you are, you dealt uh, the stability examination of a system given system so based upon the time time uh, if you root locus in time domain technique and border plot is frequency so in uh, different techniques uh, different domains you checked the stability of a system but these five techniques but these five techniques were uh, classical methods So these five techniques were classical methods and for if you this system by finding by using this techniques if you find the system unstable you what do you do you keep a controller we have the controllers like PID and lead lag controllers okay so by using the PID and lead lag controller, we use that we we'll we say that system whether it got stability or what not. So in up to ninety in between nineteen to two nineteen fifty, we used to use this uh, techniques controller techniques controller techniques. When uh, but uh, controller techniques with in uh, 1960s with the development of digital computers this uh, state space analysis came to picture So with state space analysis came to picture in time domain, in time domain approach. So here I would like to say one point. Before uh, in uh, coming to before the invention of Laplace uh, Fourier series is up to 1920. Systems were modeled in time domain. That is by using by differential approach, differential te differentiation technique. So uh, after uh, nine, but uh, after uh, introduction of Laplace, this time domain is converted into frequency domain. 
so this all these techniques were gone up to from 1920 we are following that all the time domain to frequency domain things but uh, in 1978 from there uh, the classical methods the classical methods like roth hervich nerkley spot bode plot and uh, state space techniques involved in combine by combination of these two techniques the systems were model we call that as robust control approach so why is said robust control so robust it means it is a stronger one so so by a different uh, so these i am not saying these techniques are not that much uh, these techniques are uh, having a less uh, advantages these techniques are has individual advantages at the same time stage techniques say stage space techniques has a uh, other advantages we'll deal that but combination of these two advantages will give both much robust controller so that um, the system gets uh, involved in stability and it reaches to uh, to the it reaches our specifications okay so the state space techniques uh, in general uh, why you used for state space techniques is the main thing is the state space techniques uh, dealing with we'll have we we have to know internal parameter of the system internal parameters followed by internal parameter with uh, knowing input and outputs whereas uh, the classical approach only based on transfer function uh, having a uh, input and output so the difference between the these techniques and uh, this uh, laplace state space analysis techniques is the state space analysis techniques uh, have based on internal parameters only based on internal parameters examine the internal parameters and input output uh, of a system the function of the system which you model consist will depend on internal parameters also so we'll consider the para internal parameters and uh, in a classical approach we based on the input output uh, so what you will do in a classical approach if you are you will be given a transfer function for the transfer function you need step input will be given and you will examine the output what is the output okay but in state space analysis techniques you need to know the internal parameters you have to by examining the internal parameters only you will justify that system whether stable or unstable based upon the unstability we will design that system okay for that example small example the different techniques if a person like an example i want to like to share since the one person was uh, feeling unhealthy so what he will do he is go to doctor so the doctor will prescribe some medication so he'll come to home and uh, he'll, he'll see for 3 4 days if the he is become healthy and well it's a not a problem because that is an old issue if the unhealthy is continues he still feel illness he'll some he'll consult the same doctor where he left from he'll suggest uh, some medication some advanced thing so he need to grow to a higher diagnosis he'll send him the diagnosis like ct scan and uh, testing the blood sugar levels and all so what he is doing now he is checking the internal parameters of the person so by checking the internal parameters of the person the exact defect will be located so by after knowing the exact defect we can say that if we, for exact medication for that uh, particular problem which are the metal way maybe the vital organs or maybe he may deal with the different blood levels so he may got to the sugar or bp 
exact medication will be prescribed by the physician or a specialist so by using that he can control his body the similar passion the state space technique is involved so the system internal parameters were known by the state space analysis techniques but based on the input and outputs the system gets controller but in classical approach without knowing the internal parameters based on the interpret output conditions only the instability is checked so that is not practically proving so for non linear elements so like systems will not be in a linear mode so they are very much i invariant with which is time variant so the time variant system and uh, system unlinear non linear for those system state space analysis techniques is very much important so we deal all these techniques so what are the defects in classical approach and what is the advantages in the state space analysis we'll give a small example in the next class so okay so for this next class we'll deal the advantages of state space techniques and uh, we'll deal the disadvantages what are the defects we found in uh, the classical method with one example okay for this time